I have my plan. My plan is that I have to see my medicine. I have to have a see-through. As long as I see it, you know, in my mind, say automatic, take it. You know, not in a medicine case that green or blue or something, and you got to flip it open and see what's in it. I got my whole tray right there, and I can see the medicine. I know what days that I have not taken it or something like that. And so that's, that's been working for me. I was taking it faithfully, like I say, by me going to studies and then making me start reading my labels and even the small, small, small print. I've learned a lot through going to lunch and learn about HIV or something about your blood pressure or your liver or whatever, these things that HIV affects in your body. That's where I'd get my learning from and I'm able to handle me better and I found out what each one of my medicine does and that was a proud thing. That was just beautiful, you know, to know that you can find out what, what, what your medicine doing. I stopped taking my meds for 30 days. And I go to my care provider. She's going to know anyway by the, the blood work. Just something I was doing wasn't right. Now, I do a, a pill count. When they call you once a month and do the pill count, they're so accurate of what you said the last time, it's no possible way you can get away with the second time telling a lie because they know the pills and what's in the bottle. So you can't lie about that. So that keeps me, you know, on my P's and Q's also of taking my medicine. And they provide the other phone that I have with the alarm. So I'm surrounded by, I'm watching you. You know, and that's a good thing. Honestly, my biggest challenge is my medication. It's 18 years later, I better take it. And that's psychologically, it wears on me because of what it does to me physically. Sometimes it makes me nauseous, sometimes it doesn't. And for me, I think those are things that matter. And I'm not sure if anybody can do anything about it, but it matters. It matters. You have to be comfortable with your own schedule. I know my schedule. So what I do, I take my medicine between seven and eight. And at night, I take them within nine and 10, which I know there's that, that little small little window of not being covered. But at eight o'clock, I'm like, it ain't time to take it yet. And then too many good shows come on TV between the hours of eight and nine. I hate to go to sleep on, on a program that I'm interested in watching. I have no challenge, no challenge at all stand on my, stand on my meds because I chose to want to live. <laughs>